How's it going guys, it's Yugi by TCG, and we're opening up a Legacy of Destruction Japanese box as a preview for the English set coming up. It's going to be nice to be opening up English again, because I just haven't had an itch to open English, because there really hasn't been anything of note since Phantom Nightmare. So, it's going to be nice to open up some English stuff. So, let's get into this though. And we will have Legacy of Destruction um, booster boxes on my website. So um, Black Mark Cards will have Legacy of Destruction booster boxes. So if you're interested in one of those, you know, you can always order one on there. And then we'll obviously have them on release date as well in store. And we get an Ultra Rare. I actually don't know this one. I don't, don't know most of the cards in this set, honestly, like the names yet, because it's pretty new. Obviously, it's not even out yet. So this is Varadis, the final bringer of the end times. Cool. But yeah, should be fun. I think this is going to be a pretty good set. Be the last Magicians of Bonds and Unity set. We never got the red one. I should have. I, Phantom Nightmare has just been hard to get at a decent price. So it's kind of been. I might just end up buying that card. But we'll open a Legacy of Destruction case for sure. So when we do open that case, maybe we can actually pull... One of the big, maybe we can pull another Magicians. Ooh, a new Ancient Gear Golem card. I know they announced this one, but I can't remember the name off the top of my head. That's the whole point we're doing this. Ancient Gear Dark Golem. There's an Ancient Gear Tanker, Ancient Gear Commander. Those are commons, though. Um, There's some Snake Eye stuff. Wait, Snake Eye's Dabala stuff. Well, that's a cool card. I just noticed that that's probably going to be an expensive card in English. Uh, the Gandor G, the Dragon of Destruction, I know is one of the cards we... I really want to see what it looks like in person. It's the cover card. Well, hopefully we can get a quarter century. We have not pulled a Japanese quarter century. Like, out of one of these sets. I don't think ever. We've gotten the, you know, when they used to be the Starlight version, but... Usually we get the quarter century out of, like, the quarter century sets, like... Core Century Pride, Core Century Unity, the Rarity Collection one. Like, we've gotten, obviously, gotten Japanese Core Century that way, but out of one of these sets, we have not done it out of a core set in a long time in Japanese. I don't know what the ratio is in Japanese. It's not one a box. I don't wait. Did we pull one in Phantom Nightmare? Now I'm trying to remember. Maybe we did pull one in Phantom Nightmare. It's hard to remember. It's been a while. That's a new ancient gear. That might be the commander. Ooh, a star or seeker rare. What is this one? Looks like a magician card. Nightmare apprentice. Very cool. So it's like kind of like apprentice illusion magician and has like dark magician girls. Technically, the apprentice of dark magician also. And then you got, um, oh my god, the the mana also. And they all have two thousand and seventeen hundred attacks so, or two thousand attacks, seven hundred defense. So that's actually pretty cool. I wonder if that card's going to be any good. Another ultra rare. This is Dybelza, the original Sin Keeper. I think there's going to be a lot of cards people are going to be chasing in this set. The wife of cards are real, it looks like. <laughs> so we're going to get the super rare in a random, ass, random spot. So that one. Snake Eyes Die Bella Star. I hope we pull because that card looks absolutely amazing. The artwork. That card can be Seeker Rare, Super Rare. It just can't be an Ultra Rare. So it's either a Super Rare, a Seeker Rare, or a Quarter Century Seeker Rare. So I guess I hope we pull it as a Seeker Rare. I wouldn't want to pull it as my Quarter Century. I'd rather do it Magicians. If we do get a quarter century, that's the other thing. So it looks like there's some dinosaur cards. Like I'm assuming that's a dinosaur card. Let's take a look just to see. Dino Vactus Docuus. Yeah. So I'd imagine that's a dinosaur card just based on the name and the look. 
another super. Oh, there's that Dibella Star card I was just talking about. Obviously, we got the super rare version. Not something we'd be looking for in super, but man, what a good looking card. I bet that's a secret rare. In, uh, I'm going to put money on that being a secret rare in English. I haven't looked up actually the rarities of everything yet. I'm trying to go in a little bit blind. I just know the sets can be very good. Maybe, I'm trying to think, will it be as good as Phantom Nightmare and Age of Overlord were? Or is it going to be more like one of the other sets that's still pretty good? So Phantom Nightmare actually is a really good set. Let's see. Another ancient gear card. Another super rare. That is um Silent Magician, right? I think is the name of that card. I always screw that up, but I think that is what it is. That's a cool looking super rare. That's getting a new card. I don't think it's in this set. I don't remember what's set. There's a new art art, like Silent Magician card. Might have been Japanese only so far, actually. Or it's in the tins. I can't I honestly can't remember what that one's from. That Silent Swordsman. Some sort of Silent Swordsman card. Maybe the Silent Magician is in here, actually. Ooh, there's an, an ultra rare. That's Nightmare Apprentice. I'm guessing that's going to be a quarter century rare. Seeker rare would be my guess. Could be an ultra, I guess. But I feel like it'll probably get the Seeker rare treatment. Just because Jujutsu Konami does with cards like that. It looks like a you, you bell. It looks like you bell in the background. So far, like, for me personally, because you guys know I mostly collect, none of the artworks have been, like, better, I think, than Phantom Nightmare so far, but still some really good cards. Some Still some good-looking cards, I should say. We got a couple packs left. Really hoping for a quarter-century rare. Oh my god, what is that a reach? I'm trying to remember what that's a retrain of. Micah, Mika Zuna. Oh my god, I'm never going to pronounce that card. The Moonfang Dragon. I know that's a retrain. Just trying to remember the name of the actual card. I think I like the original artwork better. Like, obviously, it's a different card, but I think I like the original card better than the retrain, just based on the look. Another super rare. I wonder if that'll be a secret rare. That is Flowering Atoli the Mel Melodious Magnificent. Yeah, I don't know if that's going to be a super rare still. And even though sometimes like it'll be a common for in the TCG where it was like a super rare in English or in Japanese, you never know. Oh, our ultimate rare. I forgot we'd get one of these. This is Sanginapai Transcendent Dragon. Very good looking artwork, by the way. And this card. Like, that looks really good. Still open for that quarter century, though. So, we got three packs left. Forgot about the ultimate rare, to be honest. I'm like... Probably we would get one of those. I think those are, those actually might be two a box, so we might get another one. Can't remember if they're two or one a box. 
I'm going in two packs, though. It's been a long time since I opened, like, a core. Japanese set. Technically, we could get a holographic rare as well. I wonder what card has the holographic rare, actually. Before we go through this, let me just see real quick. Holographic rare is the Gandora. That's actually a sick one. Let's see. Probably not going to be in here, obviously, but it would be really cool if we got it. And nothing in there. But looks like it's going to be a pretty cool set. Obviously, it comes out on Friday, Wednesday at OTSs. My store's not an OTS yet. We're still applying, but we'll have the product on Friday. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe and stay tuned for more content coming soon. Have a nice day.